Hey, I've been looking at these dynamic components and this is the first one I made just by looking at the examples. Um, that's a timber screen that you mount on a facade. Or I guess you can use it as a fence, but this one's meant to be mounted on a facade. Um, it's got two elements. The, one, the first is the timber slats, which work fine. Um, the second element is the beams, the supporting beams, and there's two parts of that. There's the one that faces right that way, which are beams R, and beams L, which face the other way. And that's just so I can do this correctly. I can cap it off with facing that way, and the idea is to cap it off. Um, facing the other way, which is it does if I make it. Yeah, like that. Now there are a few problems with it. The slats are fine, but the beams aren't. You can see if I make it smaller, the, the beams are set to go uh, one every 4.2 meters. That's that's based on 8.4 grid. So the first problem is that if I make it smaller than 4.2 still has one out here. So basically the first problem is if it's smaller than 4.2 I want, want it to ignore the 4.2 rule and cap it off by placing one here. Um, the second problem is the opposite. If I make it not, not in an in increment of 4.2 there are two things. It doesn't add one there and it doesn't cap it off. Um, yeah, so there are three things altogether. There's if it's smaller, I want it to ignore 4.2 and cap it. And if it's bigger than the 4.2 increment, one. it was not doing that before. Yeah, if it's bigger needs to add another one there and cap it off here. And I imagine that's a bit more complicated than the basic stuff. So yeah.